hit like Shevchenko. No one returns my goals. Remove the goalkeeper. Hey, boys, come over here. No, not you. You go and continue playing. I said, go on. Hello, footballers. So, you want to make a little money? Will you let me ride your bike? My bike is an expensive thing, but I'll think about it. Depends on how you will complete your task. Um, all right. Well, you can touch it, but only if you washed your hands, right? I have the same one, too. And look at that tank. <laughs> yes, yes. What about the tailpipe? I'll buy the same one. Mm -hmm. So, how much did you pay? What should we do? You should teach one nerd a real good lesson. Who? I'll show you. Will you do it? Uh, we'll see. All right, all right. I need to get some documents from the State Archive. Think you can do it? Which ones? Here's a list of the jewelry of the Von Busovs. We're going to need to track down all the owners of the jewelry to discover who had it last. And if these pieces were on the black market. If not, is there any possibility to confirm that these pieces of jewelry belong to the Von Busovs? A diadem with 30 10 carat diamonds from the jewelry company Cartier, Nicola Von Busov's cufflinks with canary diamond and emerald cut. Nicola. These jewelry pieces cost a lot of money. I'll tell you right away when I find something. Thank you. What, Mom? You have such great timing, Mom. You called me right when I was painting my nails. Can't you just come to me? Roman just arrived, and he's going to the hotel entrance. Go out real quick. Meet him in the hall, as if by accident. Hey, are you listening to me? I said my nail polish is still drying. You've got five seconds. It's time to start the plan. Good day, Roman Drozdovsky. Well, here's your key. Thank you. Greetings, Roman. How do you like your hotel? Maybe you've got some complaints, wishes, or recommendations. Thank you. I have no complaints. Everything's great. You know, we have such good weather today. I decided to go for a walk to get some fresh air outside right now. Would you like to come and join me? If you want to, of course. Thank you for the invitation. I'll gladly join you, Laura, because I haven't seen anything else here except for the golf course. I'm sure this place has so much more interesting things. <laughs> Even if I've been here since childhood, I'm still amazed by it. Yes, it is beautiful. Roman, how about we start speaking less formally? Why not? I see no problems with that. Let's do it. <laughs> Every time I look at that bank of the river, I remember... I remember Renoir's works. If only I could paint, I would stop the time. Well, to be honest, I'm not that acquainted with art. I'm more interested in history. Of countries, cities, people... For example, stand of story. Sorry, but what? history is not interesting for me. What's the point in being fond of something that can't be changed? Yeah, yeah, maybe you're right. <laughs> but the future is much more exciting for me. I love dreaming. It mesmerizes me. My own dreams, grand plans of my father. You don't even imagine how much he has planned. He wants to make new golf fields, to build stables, maybe even to open a ski resort. And I'm sure he'll make it. He knows how to achieve his goals. I think you'll enjoy talking with each other. 
The water is so clear. Well, I've got... And, uh, I owe her. <laughs> and I? Here we go. Uh, <laughs> I'm closing. What, crony? Did you lose? Multiply by two, plus 15 in debt, 45. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Oh, here give comes Give it up, Ritz. give it up. Why are you in pants and not in your underwear? <laughs> <laughs> You've lost everything. Take Xena's skirt. <laughs> uh, take your money. How much do you pay? And I'm raising. Oh, that's the spirit, brave man. I have a feeling I'm going to be winning this time. Why are you standing there as if you're frozen? Should I take away dirty dishes? Come here. Hello. Hello to you too. Good day. Oh, Victoria Lidnodovna, how may I help you today? Oh yes, I'd like to order your branded meat roll with cheese to my home. Our new cook can only speak about her talents, and in reality doesn't know how to cook a simple omelette. <laughs> we'll start cooking right away. When do you want it? Oh, uh, I was hoping for around three. Can you make it? Of course. It'll be ready before oh, then. Oh, perfect. Uh, what's wrong? Can I have some water, please? Oh, it must be my blood, my blood pressure disease. Oh, oh, sit down. Sit down. Right here, please. Go ahead. Oh, thank you. It'll be comfortable. Oh, I said go bring water. Faster, go. Oh, sorry. I haven't slept much at night. So much on my mind. You can't even imagine. I already have too many problems. And now this. You're scaring me. What happened? You know my niece, Katja? Well, now she lives with the orphans in our hotel right now. Said he told me. You did a nice thing giving them shelter. Yes, I had to find a trade-off. What's this? Couldn't you bring a normal glass, not this? Oh, that's all right. But who will help her except for us with Ivan and those poor orphans? But as we say, no good deed goes unpunished. So what happened? Did they roister? <laughs> well, nothing crazy. But they are very noisy, running around, shouting. Customers started complaining. I'm afraid they'll start leaving soon. Maybe you should talk to them, make everything clear. But I did already. But go. they... Go. Don't teach children in orphanages how to behave in public. I'm afraid they will have a hard time getting used to our school now. No way. What can go wrong at school? With children from orphanage? Everything can go wrong. Orphanage is not paradise, you know. If they have problems there, they fight. One of the new kids goes to the same class with my younger son. I should probably ask him not to have anything connected with that guy. If only he'd lay his finger on my child, I'll- Listen, I'll... mind your business. Why are you buzzing over there? Seriously, the children haven't even done anything yet, and you're already making up punishments for them. Crazy, crazy. Why are you defending them? Do you think they're saints? Orphans know a lot, but only bad stuff. Zakhar said the truth. They only know how to fight and steal. Oh yeah, you're used to stealing from collective farms, so don't say anything bad about these children. You just, you have to keep a waist belt nearby. I know how to teach those rogues correctly. If I had such a teacher for my orphans, my problems would be solved. <laughs> Do you hear how they sing in harmony? As if there's an unknown conductor controlling them in secret. <laughs> it must be the perfect music of nature. One can listen to the singing birds forever. <laughs> Especially if one has an ear for music. I think you know how to play. I saw a piano in the hall. Yes, I studied two years when I was little. But I almost don't remember anything. Just the grasshopper. <laughs> There are teachers who have no right to be around children. That's my case. Some talents are destined to vanish. What's that over there? Forrester's house.
It's abandoned now, no one takes care of it. There's nothing interesting in there. Well, whatever our guest wants. So dusty in here. Spider web. I don't like spiders. What? I'm scared. Let's leave this place. Wait a second. Hunters stop here sometimes. My father is also a hunter. Well, he used to be one, but then stopped. Why? Just no free time. But if you'd like to go hunting with him, I can talk to him about it. Great, thanks. By the way, Serhi, I want you to keep an eye on unloading the food for the kitchen so that they won't forget about putting meat in the fridge, like what they did the last time. Asha. Hello. Good day, Ivan Fedorovich. I'm uh, formatting the temporary registration document for Katya right now. Maybe mm -hmm. you need one too? Uh, no, thank you. I have it at my mom's place. Mm. You're looking happy today. What's the reason? Tell me. <laughs> yes, that's because I've got students now. I even got my first paycheck, so I bought the children some sweets. Sweets? That's great. <laughs> Asya, I'd like to invite you and Katya to our dinner tonight. We'll also serve sweets there. <laughs> and we'll celebrate your start of tutoring. I hope you'll make us happy with your presence, both of you. I really hope so. Thank you, Ivan Fedorovich, but I'm uncomfortable. Katya is your niece, and I'm just a... just a stranger. Does that matter? Hmm? Good day, Victoria Leonidivna. Good day. Did you... really invite those... For dinner? Well, firstly, not those, but my niece and her friend. And secondly, huh, if something bothers you, have dinner separately. Yes, my business requires excellent concentration. I have to pay attention to the smallest nuances, risks. It's a very responsible, yet exciting process. And as for me, I'm studying the hotel business. Hmm. Yes, I really want my future job to be as interesting as yours one of these days. Hopefully. And it's a promising branch of business. I'm sure it's going to be interesting. Good girl. Mm, by the way, Roman, um, do you want to have dinner with us? Mom will be glad if you come. <sighs> Of course, Roman. We'd be happy to have you as our guest. I accept your invitation with great pleasure. <laughs> it seems like the lesson went smoothly. Yes. The child is very clever and diligent. Understands everything right away. <laughs> happy for you. I've bought honey, sour cream, cheese. Here. I've heated up the meal for Taras and Maxim. After giving Lucia her meal, she said, Asha, it tastes so good. <laughs> Asya, you're good at everything, and I... Text is technical, and the translation progress is rather slow. But you'll review special vocabulary. You're right. What's up? I just met Ivan Fedorovich. He invited us for dinner, you and me. Um, how do you think? Maybe I should stay at home? Will your uncle be offended if I don't come? Relax, I'm not going to. His family treats us too poorly to have a normal dinner with them. Katya, you must go. I don't want to see them more than needed. Especially my aunt and sister. And also, I have a lot of work. 
The sooner I finish the translation, the sooner I get the money. God, your money will come. I already have two students, and you have to make peace with your relatives at least. Because of the children. Victoria and Laura really are the worst. But what can you do about it? They're your uncle's family. Ivan Fedorovich does everything in his power to make peace between you. And you must do your own part and help him. Oh. Well, you're absolutely right. But we will go together. I've got no reasons to be there. I'll be sitting there like a fool. Near your dear relatives. Asya, I really need your support. Hmm? <laughs> All right. I'll go with you and I'll make sure that those vultures won't kill you and eat you as their meal. Then we agreed. <laughs> Well, I could see the walk was a success. <laughs> sure. We were discussing things like art, music, and paintings. Hmm. Really? Mom, he has no interest in art. Where did you have that idea? Why did I have to read all of those stupid books then? Classicism, Impressionism, Cubism. Weird. He assured me that it's what's interesting for him. <laughs> what are you thinking about? Your father has invited Asha and Katya for dinner. For what reason? <clears throat> At first I was furious too, but then I realized it's better to accept it. Bringing them together? Roman and Katya, mom, are you crazy? We'll try to find common language with Katya and her friend. Oh, great. I ordered to lay the table for five people. For six. Dad, I've invited Roman Drostovsky. You two are businessmen, you'll have something to talk about, is it okay? You've got to expand your circle of communication. You never know who will be useful for you. You're right. That's a good idea. And Laura can become friends with Katya. I'm sure that you, you both have a lot of stuff in common. Katya can be a good example for you. Don't worry, everything will be all right. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. I need to go to the bank in Chernivsky. We'll be home before dinner. Should I follow Katya's example? <sighs> oh, honey. Try and forget all that your father has said. The main thing is that we'll show Katya in a bad light today. Roman will think that she's a provincial fool. She surely doesn't know how to behave. She's nothing compared to you. And you lack self-control. You have to be trickier. And now we have to think about your outfit. It has to be bright and elegant. You will definitely stand out from everyone else tonight. Katya, do you know that both of your admirers might be downstairs later, hmm? Nonsense. What admirers are you talking about? Sergei and Roman. That's absurd. That's not true. And yet, you've got to always be elegant. This necklace will look amazing with the dress you're wearing. Asya, honey, I'm not going to charm anyone. At least let me style your hair into something festive. Asya, come on. No festive hairstyles. That's just a plain dinner. So what? Hello, little one. How are you? Oh, Maxim had returned from school. I should give him mm -hmm. something to eat. It's a ladybug. Do you like it? Hi, Max. I would never make anything like that. Have you seen that? Yes, and sometimes people call it a lady beetle. Max, how's your day at school? Everything's okay. You sure? Will you make me the same one? Yes, I will. And will we play the piano? Of course. Max. Max. Close your eyes. And make a wish. <sighs> Max, go get changed and go to the kitchen. There you'll find dinner for you and Taras. And after that, return here. Did you hear me? Max. 
What? Be around Lucia. When Taras comes home, give him his dinner. Then make sure he does his homework. And you too, remember? Sure. Luisa, dinner, homework, everything will be done. All right, good. And where are you going? <sighs> Asia and I are invited for dinner at uncle's house. Okay, I'm going to eat. Change your clothes! And can you tell me what is your wish to the ladybug? I asked my mom Lilia to come into my dreams. Oh, is that so? She will. Mm. Then I'm going. Let's fly. Why did you do that? No one said you're allowed to talk. If you come to school one more time, I'll beat you up. And leave Stan of all of you, orphanage bastard. There's no place for weak ones. And don't even try ratting us out. Sir, he. Huh? Where are my girls? Uh, sir, um, sorry, who are you talking about? What does it mean? Laura, Victoria, Asia, and Katya. Uh, Victoria Leo Divne is in the living room. Um, I haven't seen the rest. They may be upstairs. Mm hmm. Hey, buddy. Why are you so moody? What's wrong? Everything's okay. I get it. You've sold your horse. I understand it's painful, as if losing your friend, I'm sorry. But I promise once I have an opportunity, I'll help you buy another horse. Thank you. If someone will need me, I'll be over there. Mm -hmm. And one more thing. If you see Drostovsky, tell him that we'll have dinner not in the restaurant, but in the living room. Uh, Roman Drozdovsky is ready in the living room. Laura is our pride. Studying at the university for her is a sacred thing. My jeans, she's very diligent. <laughs> she's the best at her course. Greetings. Yes, good day. I'm very glad that you agreed to join us for dinner. And thank you for the invitation. I'm sorry, I'll leave you for a little. I have to check in the kitchen whether the main course is ready. Sorry. Would you like to have aperitif, or are you against it? Sure, it's good for the appetite. Ah. All right. Okay. Hmm. Ah. Here, here you go. Thank you. So, have you come here for a vacation? I'd say it's a business trip. I own an investment agency, Trzostowski & Partners, and the recreational potential of your nature is simply striking. What kind of activities are you interested in? S sponsorship for long-term projects. Connected with constructions, realty, agriculture, processing industry, tourism, things like that. Mm. Interesting, interesting. Hello, son. Hi, Mom. Where should I take it? On the table or to the kitchen? Mm, probably to the kitchen. Not all guests have arrived yet. A lot of guests? Enough. Can you imagine they even invited Roman Drozdovsky? They just met him and he's already been invited to join the dinner table. Sure, he's rich, but... Someone they don't know all their lives, but they didn't even invite me. They didn't. Honey, don't be upset about those nuances. Well, you'll not taste my meat roll at their table, but I'll cook you even better at home. I promise that, okay? Mom, don't talk to me as if I'm a little boy. You surely understand. What I'm talking about, it's not nuance, it's respect. Hi. Hi. I'll take this to the kitchen now. Mm -hmm. Hi. Hi. Is your bracelet from Tiffany's? Brand is inessential for me. This is my favorite jewelry piece. <laughs> It seems that you like Katya very much. Good evening. Good evening. Katya? Why, hello there. 
quite a pleasant surprise. I didn't know you were invited as well. I didn't expect to see you here too. My friendly advice, don't you dare lose your chance, sir, he. Welcome to the table. Welcome, welcome. May I? Sit. I'm so sorry, but I've already planned the seating arrangement for this table beforehand. Asha, you have to sit here. Roman Jutovsky, I'm sorry, but your seat is right over there. The girls are sitting on the right places. Thank you. Hopefully, you'll excuse this little caprice of mine. Yes, here you go. Yes, Katya. The red wine? Well, I hope I don't have to change my place like everybody. No, no, the host's place is sacred. So <laughs> now we may enjoy our meal. Right. I just wanted to say that I'm happy that my loved ones have gathered at this table and also new friends. So first toast is to the friendship and the big family. Come on. <laughs> mm. Oh, please. <sighs> Taste our Bukovinian dishes. I hope that you'll like them. Thank you. Mm. Enjoy your meal. Katja, you have to eat this with another fork. Thank you for the advice, but it's more comfortable for me. I picked the wrong fork, too. Although it is more comfortable. <laughs> it's minced meat. You don't have to cut it with a knife. Oh, all those rules. It's just the conditionality, love. Here, look. The host is taking the knife and cuts his meat in pieces. This roll is my culinary masterpiece, in my humble opinion. You cannot find these rolls in Kiev. May we play the piano? Yes, but be quiet, don't bang too hard. Taras, what happened? Who did that? The plane. For Lucia. They broke it. And they also told me that we need to go away, all of us. Mr. Drostovsky, it's your turn to have a toast. Please, our dear guest. I want to have a toast. To the happiness of all the people living in that big house. And of course, I mean the children, too. Yes, they are noisy, sometimes. Running and boisterous, but they are children. Don't forget they had a hard life. And it's unknown what the future holds for them. And they need attention. They're not like everyone else. I'm sorry, can I have the word now? Keep in mind, Roman. These children will have only the best life. My children are not any worse than others. Katya, you've misunderstood me. And they are better in some aspects. They are kind, sensitive, fair. They are sincere. Pardon, Katya. Can I have a few words with you? Something happened. Why are you calling for her? Who asked you to? Max, did something happen? Tell me. I will deal with those morons myself. Just go there by myself and I'll kill them all. Max. Pardon, I have to leave for a minute. <clears throat> Roman, you are right. It's uncertain what the future of these poor orphans may look like. No one knows. Thank you for the dinner. Everything was delicious. I'll see you later. Max, 
Maxime, wait! Did you hear me? I'm begging you, wait! Max! Soon. So much. It will sting a little, and then it will be gone. Taras, this is for you, but don't cry. Thank you. I'll fix the plane. It'll fly again. Is Taras okay? Do we need to call the doctor? <laughs> no, no, we don't. We can handle this. Taras. Come on, tell us what happened. After school, two boys came to him, took away the plane, broke it, and threw it away. They threw all the books from the bag and kicked poor Taras to the ground. They threatened him not to show up at school anymore. They said to go away. Said that there wouldn't be place for the weak ones. Taras, listen to me. Look at me. Never be afraid of anything or anyone. And as for the ones who offended you, it's their turn to be afraid. Okay? Okay. All right, now tell me. How old were these boys that us? Maybe you remember any features? Like their height, hair color, birthmarks. And what exactly were they wearing? They were twins. They were so alike. I can't even tell one from the other. There was one man. Who was... Taras, why don't you and I help Lucia to read? She's so small and she reads very slowly. Let's help her, okay? Good boy. Taras, come sit here. Thank you, Roman. Your help means a lot to us. Not a problem. What about Katya? Asha, look, I didn't mean to offend her, okay? I just said the wrong words in the living room, and it turned into a stupid misunderstanding. I said those children aren't like everyone else meeting the same things Katya said. These children are the best. I'm sure of it. I already told you that we'll have issues with these children. No big surprise that they're from orphanages and have no education. They are aggressive because they are used to defending themselves in fights and problems. Oh, come on, just stop. I'm sure you had something to do with this accident. Me? Why would I do that? You're humiliating me with such an accusation. Dad, that's too much. Honey. Are you also a part of all this provocation? Girls. Do you think I'm a fool? Do you think I haven't noticed how you two exchanged glances? How you... Vika tried to humiliate Katya? Huh? Was it your common plan? Or maybe it was... The idea of one person. How dare you? Do you really believe that I would stoop to that level? Of that wench, really? You'll do anything and everything to vex your enemy. Let's see where this goes. But the plan with the children is already in effect. Plus, Katya and Ramon lock horns now. And now it's extremely important for you to behave properly with Roman. You have to be gentle, delicate, intelligent. In other words, the exact opposite of this mad Katya. Oh my goodness. By the way, I said to Roman that you're the best on your course. This was definitely unnecessary. <laughs> Mom? <laughs> Good day, everyone. God bless you. Do you think you can help me? How exactly? 
I'm gonna need strong guys. Maybe from high school. I've got a job for them, and I pay good money. So where do you think I can hire these people? Usually our boys gather behind the school to hang out. Uh, to play ball, to talk. My sons hang out there often too. So if you, Roman, could give them some work, I will be so grateful to you. How far is that? Uh, everything there is not far away. You just have to drive one kilometer straight. Thank you. Hmm. Hello? Zena? You have no right to refuse. Do you hear me? I ordered beer. Anything else? Good day, ma'am. Hello. I'll have a double espresso, please. Sit down. I'll make it right away. What about my order? I don't even want to cater to you. I have the... the right to do so. And how dare you show up here? You were shouting that you'll never come here again. I just want a beer. Everything is for the customer. What a pig. Bring me beer and smile. Yeah, yeah. Here's your coffee. Thank you. And your sugar. Here Hello? you go. Yeah, it's me. Oh, of course. Certainly. How can it be done any other way? I'll keep my word. Yes, I'll go to them now and then. I'll call back. Yes, bye. All right, Zena. All right. I don't need your beer anymore. Your beer is always so weirdly warm anyway. <laughs> You've lost a good client. My beer is always cold. Of course. Tell me, who was that? Torlik. He thinks that he rules this place, but in reality, he's a jerk from the village nearby. Thank you. The coffee was great. Have a nice day. <laughs> Hello, kids. Hello. Well, guys, here's your money. But why didn't you call right away? We were waiting for your call. And you're busy with work. <laughs> That's true. I'll say it again. You must say nothing about this matter. No problem. We will be silent. If our parents find out, they'll kill us. <laughs> so how about letting us ride? <laughs> Motorcycle? Next time when you're free, I'll take your hand off. Come on, come on. Hello. Little girl, I'm free like a bird in the sky. What do you mean, what? You owe me something. What does it mean? You don't understand? Well, okay, see you there. Bye. Come in. I brought you some fruits. Thank you. Children love fruits very much. Now where should I put them? Over there. Oh, where 
Where's Taras? Taras and Nyusha are in Katja's room right now. They're resting there after everything that happened. Has Katya called yet? Mm -mm. And Maxim left a little earlier. God, please stop him. He's a very kind boy, but his character is rather fiery. Actually, I think his reaction was more than natural considering the fact that Taras was hurt. He's his elder brother. And he's got to defend the younger. Of course, he exaggerates a little. I'll talk to him. When he comes back, let me know. Will you do that for me? Okay. <laughs> and how's Taras? How does he feel? He's feeling better. Roman talked to him. He told him the right words. I'm so grateful to him. Hmm. By the way, what was the thing that the hooligans broke? The plane. He made it himself. He glued it, soldered it, painted it. He did it for Lucio. It turned out to be amazing. So he decided to show it to his friends at school. What a pity. It is indeed a stress for the boy. You're very understanding. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, you clowns! Yes, I'm speaking with you. Come here, quick. How dare you touch my brother, huh? How dare you? What are you talking about? You're a dead man. He'll kill him! I don't care who you are. Do you hear me? Doesn't matter how many twins they'll be. I'll kill for my little siblings. All right, stop, relax. Don't you touch me. Max, tell me, why did you do that? Those bastards abused Harris. They deserve the worst. You should not beat people, you're wrong. No, I'm not. Max, come back. I said come back, Max! When will you learn to hold your temper, Max? Listen, the problem shouldn't be solved with fights. You must always use your words. Wise words are always better than fists. Remember that. They don't understand words. It was two against one, Max. They could have hurt you. What? Me? They only prey on the weaker ones. Stop it. So you suggest that it's unsafe to fight with two, but it's okay to fight with one? And I suggest that it's not okay to fight whatsoever. Remember what you promised to Mama Lilia? I promise never to leave Taras. I promise to help and obey you. So obey me then. Max. Hey, stop, stop, stop. Where were you? I've knocked those bastards. They're probably sitting there licking their wounds. They're gonna be learning their Please lesson. Please stop it. What now? happened to you? Nothing special. How dare you speak like that to me? And this is your education? Fights with local children and audacity. Listen, those are just circumstances. Those boys abused Taras. We need to sort this all out calmly. I already sorted this out. We are done. So you can even kill them? I'll do it if I have to. Why are you not saying anything? <sighs> this is just too much. I won't tolerate anything like that in my house. Try to understand me. I'm not going to kick any one of you out of here. I didn't even think about it. It's just Katya. Neither you nor we need unnecessary troubles. 
Please tell Maxime that it doesn't work this way. There's always someone bigger and better than you out there. Ivan, you think it's possible to engage normal dialogue with this delinquent boy? Have you seen how mad he got after a simple reproof? If he had a rifle, he would have killed all of us. That's nonsense. Did you hear his statements? How he called the kids? Maxim is not- Enough! Stop it. Girls, let's stop arguing with each other, and please stop bringing up the past all the time. What's important right now is to make sure that this won't happen again. Uncle Ivan, I will talk to Maxim. I promise you that he will not behave like this again. Okay, Katya. That's the most important. And that's it? He's just going to get away with it? And nobody cares that he almost crippled the kids? Have you even asked of their well-being? Max, are you okay? Tadas, get the first aid kit there, in the second room on the top shelf. What am I supposed to do with this? It's easier to buy a new one. Here. Thank you, Taras. Come on, sweetheart. Look at me. <sighs> Anything else hurts? Head? Just be honest. None. Listen, there are things you shouldn't mess with. It doesn't hurt. It will heal eventually. Turn around. Mm. You're on their side too? What was I supposed to do? Just ignore those pricks humiliating my brother, is that it? Max, I didn't say that. But you thought so. You adults are so proper. You say that it's right to protect the little ones. And when things get real... Max! Max, you have to understand the possible consequences of this fight. If social services finds out about this, you might be taken to an orphanage. And then neither me nor Katya would be able to do anything. Damn, what a fool I was. It wasn't my child who put up a fight. Enough! The matter is closed. Sorry, Roman. It's usually quiet here, but you can't foresee everything. It's all right. I understand. Thank you. Katya. Yes? Katya, don't worry. Everything will be fine. Yeah, I guess. Sir, he, I'm so grateful for your help. It's nothing. I didn't do anything special. I'll go talk to Maxime right now. If you want, I can brainwash the kid. No, I'll just go by myself. If you need anything, I'm home. My shift is over, so... Alright, I'll keep that in mind. See you. See you. Gotcha, wait. What I said during dinner... I meant differently. No, it was crystal clear. Really? What is it exactly? You are rich and prosperous. You are from a different world, Roman, and you have never faced the problems of orphans. You can never understand their soul. You know very little of me. There is no need to know more. Goodbye. Ivan, we need to do something. You think they would just forget about this excess? Yes. If you would just stop talking about it, on every street corner... The parents won't leave it so simple. It's a scandal. And then we have to clean up that mess. Since we've taken orphans in, and explain why there's a bandit here. How on earth is Maxime the bandit? He's an ordinary teenager. I also fought at his age. He's no ordinary teenager. He's an outsider who has beaten up the village kids. And the worst about it is that all complaints will be addressed to you because you have taken him in. I can't believe we've gotten into such trouble. We are getting weird looks in Stanov because of our situation. And now we will definitely become the enemy. 
Not to mention, if the police get involved. Vika. Vika. Oh. I understand. Not the most pleasant situation. A nice advertisement for a hotel. I've warned you. I already told you that Katja and her kids should not stay here. But no, you have decided to save the world. You thought that dealing with orphans was easy? They grew up in poverty. They are used to lying, stealing, fighting. You know very well a leopard can't change its spots. <laughs> Good evening, fellas. Zinka, How are you? Help me Good. out. Have you heard what happened to my kids? No, what is it? Sit down, sit down. Come on now, tell me. This asshole. There's this new kid in our school. He's just an orphan. You know, one of those living at Rishos. So this asshole, he started the fight with my boys. Thank God they didn't get hurt or anything. But they've got bruises. Bruised from head to foot. Have you been to the hospital? Just got back from the hospital. Recorded the injuries. Because I'll report this matter to the police. But first I want to collect signatures. What signatures? So that this little rascal and all their kind will be sent back to the orphanage. Parents' council promised to help me. But I'm not sure... If I can get this many signatures. Now, if you would take part in it. You got so many people around here. One signature, another one, and we'll have 50 signatures in a moment. When you serve drinks to people, just give them this paper. They won't even care what to sign. And for us, it's a very important matter. I don't even know. Oh, come on, please. Don't you have a lot of patrons here, just like... Like me? There, look, look. He doesn't care that his kids got beaten up. It's kind of inhumane. Indiscriminately Gosh. kicking the poor kids to the orphanage. Maybe that fight was not that bad. Maybe there was a reason for it. You know how boys live today fighting, the next day they're best friends. If that Ivan Hrishok wants to do his charity, those orphans should be checked and sent to a psychiatrist. And I swear, with or without your help, I will still do this, even on my own. Hey man, so how's life going? Mine or yours? I'm making you such a nice life. Yes, yes, making the additions. Added two more articles. Thanks a lot. Look, Kostya, I've got a request for you. I'm going to need you to contact Hannah from her office. I gave her the list of jewelry of the Von Busots. She promised to look for something in the archives. Hannah has the access to the old files, and you're great with computers. So if you combine your efforts... Okay, no problem. I'll call her. Awesome. No, Lucia. Not like this. Let me show you. But I don't want to do it this way. It will hold tighter this way. What took you so long? I was having a really nice talk with my family. It looks like we are in trouble. What, we might get kicked out? If the parents of those twins will make a scandal, then I'm afraid yes. My uncle and his family won't risk the hotel's reputation. Hold on. I see. Max, how are you? Huh? Fine. Hey, everything's alright. I just wanted to help my brother. Yes, I know that, my dear. That was very decent of you. But it doesn't matter, even how right you are. You were the first one to hit them. You will be the one they will consider guilty of all sins. You understand? So what now? I don't want to be sent back. 
Come here, silly. I will never give you to anyone. Max, everything is going to be fine. Just take it easy next time, all right? Before letting out all your emotions, you should think twice about it. Everything is going to be fine. Everything is going to be fine. What's your name here? Then signature. Thank you. Markovich, now you. Yesterday he beat my sons, tomorrow he will go to your Sashko. We need to protect our children. Olena. I've asked you to collect your signatures elsewhere. I don't like it. I don't care. I'm not at your home and I can do anything. You're such a shameless person. Don't you feel sorry for the orphans? You didn't even fully understand the situation. And what would you do if you had small children? You know you're just as pitiful, because your son is already a grown-up man. Mom, what's going on here? Kovalenko is collecting signatures against Katya's kids. She wants to kick them out to the orphanage. Excuse me. Sergei, can we talk? There is important business that we have to discuss. No, go, go. I will tell you everything later. Yes, go ahead. Tell him how you protect little delinquents. Shut your filthy mouth. Just go babble at your own home. See, in this row, you will specify the algorithm that you need. For example, let's summarize the values of all these rows. Like this. See? The program gives you results in no time. Indeed, it's very useful. Oleksiy Viktorovich, may I? I need you to sign something. All right. Here. Those cases you told me to formalize are on the final stage. And here. I only need to check out on a couple of things. Do we have time? Of course. Tomorrow we'll be in the prosecutor's office. Good. Thank you, Igor. Such a nice guy. And it also seems that he likes you. What? I'm just telling you, instead of dreaming and waiting for a Prince Charming, you should pay attention to him, to a man from the real world. Dad. What? Igor is energetic and ambitious. He's not gonna stay long at the lieutenants. Well, good luck to him. Sweetie, you're not 18 anymore. It's time to think about family and children. What are you waiting for? And what are you waiting for? Why don't you fire Mikola? Why don't you look for someone in his place? You intended to. Mikola is a highly qualified investigator. It's not easy to find a replacement. He's one of a kind. So I don't need anyone else. I thought we reached an agreement. I don't know what my father told you, but we already have a buyer for the land. We have an agreement with the Grishiks, and I won't break my word. Sergey, I'm not here for land. I found out something about Maxim's fight with the twins. It wasn't an accident. They provoked him on purpose. The twins were ordered to attack Taras. So who was it? Some adult. Always rides a motorcycle. Yesterday I saw him handing money to the twins, and his name is Anatoly. Tolik. A known bastard who would even sell his own mother. But... What does he have in common with those boys to do that? Well, obviously he had his own reasons. But that's not what's important. We need to prove that Maxim was not just looking for a fight. It'll help Katya and the adopted children, Sergei. So, can I count on your support? What do you need? Just talk to the twins. Make them confess. You're a local. They would rather listen to you than me. I see you've sent an official request on access to the National Archive. Is that what I'm thinking? At first, Mikola. Now you. Dad, I gave him my word I'd help him find his family's jewelry. 
Is that bad? Just don't tell him I know about it. Because I don't want to support him with his obsession. His research will not result to anything. It's a waste of time. But if he needs to make sure that his father actually committed a crime, then I'll let him be. The faster he comes down, the faster he gets back to work. What did I tell you? When will you listen? Who? The parents of the twins. I just got a call from Zina. The Kovalenke are collecting signatures in the village against Katerina and her kids. Then they're coming here. So get the red carpet ready, honey. I just can't believe there's so much noise because of a single silly fight, you know? Finally, now you understand that just because of, as you call it, that one silly fight, we may lose everything we have. And what if locals get stubborn and stop selling us their products? And what if they stop working for us? Start a war against us? Vika, stop it. I don't want to hear about it anymore. Better call Lara. I got to talk to her. Enough. Hey, twins. We busted you up pretty good, huh? So was it worth it? What? Getting beaten up for the money. So how much did he pay you for humiliating the kid? Don't you dare lie to me. Do I look like an idiot? I know everything. Wait, 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 wait. Relax. Relax. I didn't come here to kill you. I have an offer for both of you. I'll bring the two of you to your parents, and you're going to tell them the truth about what really happened. Or we can just call the police. Interrogation, fingerprinting, and getting into those juvenile records. By the way, there are witnesses of you beating Taris. We didn't beat him. Only frightened him. Mm -hmm. Talik told us to make sure the kid won't come to school anymore. Oh. Just explain it like this. He won't hurt you. Come on. We'll have to deal with me first. Go. Laura, I don't understand you. Aren't you getting tired of just idling around, doing nothing? Hmm? If I were you, I will lose my mind. I'm not idling. I have things to do. Oh, you got stuff? What is it? Going shopping with your mother? Or maybe running around the field with a stick, huh? Or maybe it's just the constant calls that you have on your phone. You're a grown-up girl. If you don't get yourself together now and start doing something useful, it will only get harder in time. So does that mean quality time is over? I can go now? Do you remember the time when you entered the faculty of hotel business? You said that it's interesting for you. And I thought, yes, you're our heir. Someday you will run the family business. So why don't you start it now? And I'll help you. I'll show you how everything works. Great, Dad. If I ever need your help, of course I would definitely ask you for it. Maybe you tell me something new? Ivan Fedorovich, there are people here. Then check them in. No, it's the locals. They are very angry. They demanded to call you. Hmm. All right. Don't go anywhere. I'll be back. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Where is he? Where are you hiding him? Olena, please calm down. Call the social services now, or I'll do it myself. I swear I will not allow those pricks to live here. You know what this is? It's an appeal. From the villagers of Stanov with a request to send back all those bullies to the orphanage. Seriously, Ivan. We don't mind the orphans, but we're not going to allow 
just anyone, to beat up our children. Ivan Fedorovich, send them back where they came from. Don't you have something to say? Yep, the woman is right. Olena, a few words. Please, Olena. I don't know what actually happened here. I really don't. Who has beaten whom and for what? But I'm sure we can resolve this peacefully. You want to shut my mouth with your filthy money? What money? No, I will really make you pay. Because I will go to the police. I will go to court. I will charge you so much for my children's sufferings and moral damages. You will remember it your whole life. It's not going to end. What are you thinking? If I'm such a burden, I'll just go to the orphanage. I'll leave the hotel. So they would allow Luisa and Taris to stay here with you, all right? <sighs> Sit down, Max. You're not going anywhere. We will be together. We are one family. You hear me? I'll carry this out myself. God, you wait. If you go downstairs, it'll only get worse. Asya, it will only get worse if we let these people intimidate us. I'll go down so I can defend Max. Max, sit down. Didn't you hear her? Where did you get these delinquents from? Everything was normal here before. How were these assholes even allowed to attend a normal school? They are not assholes. Please choose your words carefully. I am their guardian. And I won't let you continuously insult them. And they are no worse compared to your kids. Oh, you are so smart! So you think that your kids are just allowed to cripple other kids? Huh? Don't be quiet. Do you hear what she's saying to me? You should be the first one to be sued because you're raising criminals. Who even allowed you to take those kids from the orphanage, huh? How old are you? 20? In our country, we don't care to whom we give custodial rights. All they want is one less mouth to feed. You listen to me because I am so tired of arguing with all of you. Let's just call the police and they'll be the one all to right. settle all of this. Let's call the police because I think it's the best option that we've got. And we should let the police find out why your 15-year-old sons ganged up on my 10-year-old boy. Listen, they humiliated him, they insulted him, and they even destroyed his personal belongings. You damn liar! It's the truth! How dare Wait, you! Wait, you stop! What do you think? You thought that my Maxim just attacked your boys for no reason? He was protecting his brother. You're a liar. Don't you Katya dare- Katya is telling the truth. Let them explain what truly happened to them, hmm? All right. We'll find out everything. Just not here, please. Let's go to the living room, all of you. Who told you to intimidate Taris? What was his name? Tolik. I can't hear you. Louder. Tolik. So you two ran into the kid after their classes. You've beaten him, you've broken his toy, and you've ruined his book. And that's why Maxim had to get back at you, right? Parents, now is the right time. To call the police. And put them on juvenile records. Maxim, and your Petra and Pavlo. Maybe we should take things slow. I didn't know that that was what happened. You parasites, why would you embarrass me in front of people, huh? That's because their father doesn't even care about bringing them up. Bloody heck. Who was this Tolik that made you do all of these things? Uh, we'll deal with him. Is that the guy from our car services? Yeah, that guy. Such a wretch. Is this like honey pot for him? Not a single day without some dirty trick? How was it? Did everything work out? It seems so. Uh, so he brought the twins there himself. It looks like they were deeply involved in all of this. <laughs> all right then. All right then. Have a nice day. You too. Thanks. Don't get mad. We didn't come here to quarrel. It's just kids. Yes, yes. As they say, kids are like flowers. You need to keep an eye on them. Well, anything can happen. I understand you and I'm not mad. I understand your emotions. I'm a father myself. Don't do that here. Get up. That can wait. I'm going to make sure that you'll both be punished. From today, you won't be able to access your computer. You can't go out and don't even try. 
Well, thank you, Sergi. Thank you. You saved all of us. Thank you. For sure. Finally, we can get back to business. Yes, ma'am. How are you? I'm not sure. How about we get some fresh air outside? That would be great. Such an evil woman. She knows how much I hate. Cracking them nuts, but she still keeps giving them to me. She really is doing this on purpose. Talking to yourself, huh? Get lost. Don't talk to me like that. It means I don't give you enough work. If you have so much spare time for vodka. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I have some business to discuss with you. Business about land? Look, I was so exhausted back then, and I just spoke without thinking. Don't we have other topics other than land? If you decided not to sell your land to me, it doesn't mean we can't talk about other things, right? Here's what I tell you. If you're so much eager to buy land here, actually, uh, there are many people who would be willing to sell it to you. But of course, it's not as good as mine, and they're still pretty good. You know, our lands around here, they're considered a good investment. Yeah, you mentioned it. Except for... Count Swamp, of course. Nobody goes there. Count Swamp? Where is that? Not so far from the forest, you know. It's overgrown. Nobody around except for some animals. Sheer swamp. Once a man nearly drowned in it, barely pulled him out of there. I see. That's a safe bet. Let's have a drink. Even one by one. Grits, stop eating those nuts. Go make me some sticks for the barbecue. Three days past, all I hear is promises. Well, pardon me, Roman Dimitrovich. Chief's orders are not to be discussed. I'll go make those sticks. Discipline and order. I get it. It's about time for me to leave anyway. Well, then let me walk you to the door then. Have a nice day. <laughs> Have a good day. I have a secret place for us to drink peacefully. Today's drinks are on me. Thank goodness it all got resolved peacefully, but what will happen next? What next, what next? We're just gonna keep going. I'm serious. So what do you want me to say? Everything will be fine. Kids will live normally and grow up here. They're independent and aren't bothering anyone. Oh really? They only scream like crazy and run around like horses. Besides that, everything is great. You don't even realize what you did when you brought them here in our hotel. You have accepted them in our family. So what? If ever they do something bad again, then they will come to you. It does not matter what they may have done. You will be responsible for it. No, no, no. We. Did you ask me or Laura if we needed any of this? I have a different question for you. When do you plan on leaving me alone in the office? And let at least one person in this house to do some work? You two are doing nothing. I have big plans for today, and you two just keep on distracting me. No, 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 honey. You're wrong. It's not us who distracts you. It's Katya and her kids. Laura. What is it, Dad? When was the last time you saw Banak? You've forbidden me to see him, so I haven't. So why do you keep reminding me of him? Just asking. Mm. Of 
but come in. The perfect place. Quiet, cozy, and not a sign of this evil gargoyle who just ruined my whole life. Piece of advice. Never get married. After marriage, it's like some evil starts possessing them. And where goes that angel that we once fell in love with? Right, a newspaper to sit on, I get glasses and the snacks from the drawer. Yeah, over there. There it is. Real and pure. My true love. Magic elixir, saving me from all troubles. By the way, this is self-made. Natural product. Let's go. Well, to good people, to you and me, and to hell with them. Pretty good, huh? Let's get less formal. All right. All right. <laughs> no offense. I wish I could sell you this land without hesitation. But I'm really afraid of Grishuk. Hmm. No, I don't want to get on his bad side. He's a cruel man. He's capable of everything. Anything you say? How did you know about that? Catch it's a small village. Everybody knows everyone. And everyone knows everyone's business. And who's capable of what? A little talk here and there. And there it is. The truth will always come out. You can't even imagine what it means for us all. I'm so grateful to you. Skunk, he's not answering. Why did you even mix up with him? Me? It was your idea in the first place. I thought he had at least half the brains. Is it that hard to do what you're asked? If only he did everything right, this Katja and her little rats would have been kicked out already. And now we can only pray that he will keep his mouth shut. He won't betray us. You sure? He's not even answering your call. Where are you going? I gotta warn them that the twins confessed. What if their parents decided to pay him a visit? No, 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 don't do that. What are you even thinking about? You cannot meet him now. If someone sees you together, then they will know. They will know? About what? That you ordered to intimidate the children, right? All right, put your pencils down and sit at the table. Here we are. Ta-da! Yay! <laughs> That's my favorite pie. Just put it here. Are we celebrating something? Yes, today is a very good day. Looks like all our troubles are left behind. And it's definitely worth celebrating. Where's Maxim? I'm here. Look what I got. A rare plane. It's fixed! Yay! Thank you. You're the best brother in the world! Right, at the table, everyone. Who wants the biggest piece? Me! No, me, me! Ivan, how could you even think about that? Have you lost your mind? Please stop treating me as if I'm an idiot. I've tolerated it long enough and turned a blind eye on your tricks. But I won't let you fool me anymore. I'm shocked. Is this your doing? Tell me that. Is this your doing? Hmm? Did you order Tolik to ask the twins to do that to Taras? I told you I broke up with him. I haven't seen him in a long time. Honey, think about it. Why would we do that? Wow. <laughs> Why would he anger the villagers? We are not the enemies of ourselves. Don't give me that. 
I'm going to find this Tolik and ask him about all of this. This bastard won't get away with this. So you should keep that in mind. Call this idiot once more. Is it that hard to answer a call? And that is the total so far. Finally. Mom, could you give me some water, please? <laughs> So how are the Grishuks? Did Ivan show Kovalenko her place? <sighs> it's all figured out. Kids are not going back to the orphanage. What happened out there? Why did Katja's kid beat up the twins? That's a long story. Where's father? He's making sticks for barbecues. Did you fly to Ceylon for this tea? What took you so long? Sorry, the guests were waiting to check out, and no one else was there, Is it so... black? I asked you to make a green one. Green? Get those shoes. Here, ma'am. You can go. You could go! Are there even beeps? Your father's gonna kill him, and then he's gonna get to us. I knew we shouldn't get mixed up with those morons. If you want to do something well, do it yourself. What's up, hard workers? How is it out here? Exhausting? I wish you knew. How cool it is to take a rest. Uh, nobody washing your brains. <laughs> Enjoy everything you want? Hell, I can't get used to it. <laughs> Whoa. 56 missed calls. My girl can't live an hour without me. Guys, please, can you guys give us a few minutes alone? I have a serious talk with him. Not bad. You think you're cool? What kind of crap do you need to be to order the twins to beat a small child? More mm, for me. How you doing? Listen, Grits. I'm just wondering, what exactly did Devon do to you that you say such things about him? Personally, I didn't have any conflict with him, but one time I saved him from prison. Is that the story about the woman and her lover? You didn't ask. I didn't tell. I already told you that once I testified in court, Ivan was suspected of murdering Julia von Busov. The woman was killed with his rifle, and everyone knows his temper, and he quarreled with this lady. Long story short, I saved him. I said that at the moment of the murder, he was with me. How exactly was it for real? That was a foolproof alibi. What the hell? I don't know about that. I didn't order anything. The twins confessed everything. <laughs> Those little brats. Didn't get beaten for too long. It's fine, I'll have a good talk with them. If you lay a single finger on them, I will... <sighs> Wait, what? I'm joking. Tell me, 
Who told you to humiliate the boy? Was it Laura? Tell me! Let me go, it hurts. I asked you a question. Was that my daughter? No, no. That was my own decision, I swear. Oh yeah? And why would you frighten a little kid? Just for fun. I took it upon myself to train them. I was teaching them about obedience. Bastard. Give it to me. It's Laura. And she told me she broke up with you. Ivan came to my house. We sat together, drank, but at some point I passed out, drunk without remembering anything. I don't know when he had left off or if we really were together, when it happened. I just, I just woke up one morning. So tell me, why did you lie in court then? Because of Ivan's wife. She begged me. She begged me. I beg you help us. Protect him. Ivan is innocent. He was... He was with you, Grits, that whole day until late night. Please, please, please tell them. Tell them Ivan didn't kill anyone. Please, you've got to. I could have, We have but... a small child. Don't leave it without a father. Ivan is innocent. Please, come on. And did Ivan thank you in any way? Yeah. He helped us privatize the tea house. Once it was a tavern of my grandfather for the USSR. And it is with his help that I got the land, actually. The one that he wants to take from me now offers a damn dime. No respect for me. He has forgotten his savior. And what about that man? Which one? And have you ever thought that because of your lie, an innocent man got jailed? No. No, it can't be. It can't be true. Boris Smirnov is guilty. That's for sure. He murdered his wife. You just told me you helped Krishuk escape punishment and that he gave you the tavern for this. Did he kill Julia von Busov? How do I know? I am not a cop. Why don't you go ask the police? There was an investigation. There was lots of evidence against her husband. And he got sent to jail. Look, I'm absolutely wasted. What's the use of me right now? All I can say is a lot of nonsense. We could talk about mushrooms. Or if you want, we can talk about fish, too. Or even better, let's just keep on drinking. What do you say? Let's keep on drinking. Thank you, but I gotta go. Good luck to you. <laughs>